welcome to this new episode of Leonardo Helicopters Safety Campaign. My name is Rory Mitchell, employed by Leonardo Helicopters to provide flight instruction here at the Leonardo Flight Training Academy. I would like to take this opportunity to talk to you about the loss of control in flight, commonly known as loci. One of the most dangerous scenarios to a helicopter pilot is the loss of control in flight. Loci is categorized as an accident or incident in which the pilot was unable to maintain control of the aircraft in flight. Loci is defined as a significant deviation of the aircraft's intended flight path, and it's usually preceded by an upset. An upset in turn is generally recognized as an in-flight condition when an aircraft unintentionally exceeds parameters normally experienced during the normal line of operations or training. Unfortunately, loci is the most relevant cause of fatalities in aviation. Let's reference, for example, to the IASA Annual Safety Report published in 2020. These are graphics pointing out the key risk areas for aircraft upset based on data reports. As you can see, the aircraft upset is the highest risk area, particularly for general aviation. It is important that our helicopter pilot community is fully aware of this potential risk. And I'm here to raise awareness and to try to keep you safe in the future. No one single solution can mitigate loci accidents. We believe that through an integrated approach, it is possible to better control the risk area through various interventions that will embrace the full spectrum of human and machine interaction. IKO recommends three different levels of interventions, awareness, prevention, and recovery. Awareness addresses the knowledge, threat error management, and crew resource management skills of the pilot. Prevention deals with the recognition of identifying an aircraft upset evolving early. Recovery, where the aircraft has entered an undesired state and the pilot must intervene to recover. The goal of threat error management is simply to identify and recognize threats, reduce errors, and prevent undesired aircraft states that could potentially lead to loci accidents. A threat is an event or situation that occurs outside the pilot's ability to influence. An error is a pilot action or inaction that leads to a deviation from intentions or expectations, reducing safety margins. In the language of TEM, we talk about trapping errors. A trap error is the first step in breaking the chain of events that may lead to trouble. Through training and practicing TEM, we can adopt strategies and countermeasures to effectively mitigate aircraft upset risk. CRM is about managing resources. TEM is about managing threats and errors. In highly automated helicopters like the AW189, the optimal use of automation is an additional resource to reduce pilot workload. This also includes the flight director modes coupled with autopilot. Let's simulate a possible scenario. The pilot is flying traffic patterns during nighttime operations with autopilot flight director modes engaged. Unexpectedly, the TCAS system alert the pilot about the presence of traffic. This focused the pilot's attention to visually acquisition the intruding aircraft's position. The pilot reacts reverting to manual flight by disengaging the flight director modes and maneuvering by pressing the force trim release button to avoid possible in-flight collision. This could induce a pilot's spatial disorientation that might lead to an undesired aircraft state due to poor monitoring of the flight parameters. The AW189 is equipped with a function that could help the pilot in reducing this effect. This function is known as wing level. The wing level is a flight control system mode which automatically acquires and holds safe nose-up pitch and wing level roll attitude. The wing level mode is available on the AW189 and other Leonardo helicopters. Let's see how it works. 
A single, dedicated push button on the cyclic grip is used to engage the wing level mode. Status indication is displayed on the primary flight display, along with the pitch and roll reference bugs. Once the wing level mode is engaged, the helicopter smoothly stabilizes a safe attitude. The wing level mode is disengaged by requesting ATT mode activation. Mode transition and disengagement annunciations are provided to the crew. There are no mode engagement limitations in terms of both airspeed and altitude flight envelope. The wing level mode provides the pilot with a very low workload solution to improve the situational awareness and help preventing spatial disorientation, which could possibly lead to unintended aircraft state situations. There are three major casual factors that lead to aircraft upset. One, pilot or human induced. Two, environmentally induced. And three, systems induced. Keep in mind that automation itself is a wonderful thing, as long as we are in charge of it. I'd like to conclude by thanking you for your attention today. And I ask that you remain focused on learning and share with others what you've learned, because a successful prevention is always better than any recovery.